We leave something of ourselves behind when we leave a place. We stay there, even though we go away. And there are things in us that we can only find again by going back to that place. I grew up in small town Saskatchewan and have technically spent the majority of my life in Saskatchewan so far. It's a place that's not on many people's tourist lists and a lot of people don't even know where it is, but for me, Saskatchewan will always hold a very special place in my heart. My dad still lives in the province, so I have decided to give him a visit, but in the meantime, also take you guys on a bit of a road trip of some of my favorite places in Saskatchewan, starting with our largest city, which is Saskatoon. So we just arrived at our Saskatoon go-to restaurant. Gordy Magoo, are you excited to have me back yeah. in Saskatchewan? Yes, I am. And we're at the old place we like going to, Calories. Yeah, we always get the, the lentil, burger. lentil burger. Super delicious. And yeah, this has been like a Saskatoon staple restaurant for I think, honestly, over 15, 20 years. So, highly recommend. It must be good. <laughs> Well, we are in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, or what's what's the nickname, Dad? Toontown. Toontown, <laughs> otherwise known as Toontown. This is the largest city in all of Saskatchewan because we sure got a huge population in these parts. Saskatoon has about 350,000 people, right? I do not know. Well, something like that. It is our biggest city. I don't city. know what is there that day. I think they are but I actually lived here probably I guess 12 years ago my dad had bought a house here and I was living in it for about two three years as I was working in flight center I used to be a travel agent I was dating a guy from here and uh, yeah have a lot of memories here in Saskatoon Some fun facts about Saskatoon is that it is called the City of Bridges because it has a total of eight different bridges that will take you to all different parts of the city. It is also considered to be one of the sunniest cities in all of Canada, but don't let it fool you into thinking that they actually have great weather here, where in reality, even when it is sunny, the winters can still reach to a cool minus 40 Celsius. Since most other places in Saskatchewan have very small populations, Saskatoon really stands out as the hub where everything is going on in the province. Of course, we also have our capital city of Regina, but overall, I would say if you want the most action in Saskatchewan, you gotta come to Saskatoon. So 
So we just got to the berry barn. Do you think you've been here before, Dad? Because see, not we sure. can't remember. Yeah. Can't remember. It's this really lovely farm that's about a 20 minute drive outside of Saskatoon. And obviously, it's got an actual barn that you can eat in. Specifically, we are here for Saskatoon berry pie, which is definitely a type of berry that I don't think you can find in many other places in the world. You used to grow Saskatoon berries, well, right, Dad? Well, we them wild. Yeah, but you had bushes. We had Saskatoon yeah, berry bushes yeah, had in our yard. we tame ones, but we also, when I was a kid, we'd go out mm -hmm. and pick them wild bushes. So if you guys get the chance, if you ever see Saskatoon berry desserts anywhere, definitely give it a try because it's a very unique taste. Saskatoon berry pie. They even have a sugar-free version for any diabetics. <laughs> All right, so the magical moment has come. The Saskatoon berry pies have arrived. We got it with scoops of ice cream. Dad, give your honest opinion on the pie they got here at the berry barn. Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> You're a harsh critic. Not as good as my mother. Okay. <laughs> it does look really good though. And they do have their own like Saskatoon Berry Farms here, of course. So everything is local. restaurant with another special guest Lane <laughs> yeah you're back and here in our old stomping grounds yeah, because still yes still Lane's <laughs> stomping grounds but where we technically met for the first time here in Saskatoon and it's great because uh, Lane suggested this restaurant that's called odd couple and it's kind of like a fusion Asian restaurant right something yeah, like it's that my second time trying it mm -hmm. um, it's been a few years so it's kind of like trying trying it for the first yeah. time yeah but uh, can you tell the people here what are we this trying is, here uh, crab rangoon so this is stuffed with cream cheese and crab meat and then I think they also put shrimp in theirs as well and Ooh. this is just a dip I'm not sure what the dip is I love it so excited <laughs> so the mains have arrived this is the drunken noodles with beef and then Lane what was this one again uh, chicken lime lime chicken strips and then coconut yeah. rice and this is mango something to do with mango ooh like a mango slaw or something yes. like that maybe yes. yeah mango slaw right. I don't remember yeah I really like this <laughs> so good <laughs> Thank you. 
So I hope you guys enjoyed this little inside look to the city of Saskatoon. It may not be Canada's biggest city, but I definitely think it has a lot of charm and is absolutely worth a visit. I think Saskatchewan as a whole deserves a lot more credit for what it has to offer. So I hope you guys will join me and my dad on this road trip of the province. Let me know your thoughts in the comments if you've been to Saskatchewan. And as always, keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.